Hey guys, welcome back to Solidworks NNC Tutor YouTube channel. Before starting the video, don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon button. So in this Solidworks tutorial, we are going to make this sheet metal part and we are going to learn about the fold and unfold features in Solidworks sheet metal. So this is our last video. After it, our sheet metal course will be completed and we will start the Solidworks weldment course. So let's start to make this part. First of all simply go to front plane, go to sketch and simply make a sketch using the following steps. So now once your sketch has been made we will simply select the dimension tool and we will give the dimension like this is of 20 mm this one is of 25 mm we will give it the value of 20 again and this one is of 35 so now we will simply go to exit sketch and select sheet metal from here select base plane tab so we have covered all the uh, basic tools like gauge tables, k factors, v detail in our previous tutorials. I will provide the link in the description. You can watch all the videos from there. So from the blind depth, we are going to give is 250 mm like this, and from here select mid plane. So from here you can increase or decrease the thickness of your model. So select OK from here. So now the basic difference in fold and unfold command and flatten is that when you will use the flatten command you cannot edit your body like you can not uh, use the unfold feature after using uh, flatten command. So if I want to edit my uh, sheet metal like if you want to make the holes or cut on the surfaces or curved surfaces so we have to use the unfold command first. So when you will select the unfold command, here is the fixed face. So for fixed face, I am going to select this face and it will be flattened after collecting all bands. So if you will select the collect all bands, the bands uh, will be calculated automatically and select OK from here. So now you can see that our uh, sheet has been flattened using the unfold command. Now we will simply select this face, go to sketch and we are going to use the center point straight slot in the center of this part. So select this and make a slot like this. If you want to give the dimension, you can give the dimension to this slot like this. So now you can see that our slot has been made. Now we are simply going to use the linear sketch pattern and we will select this edge and from here we will select the entities to pattern. So simply increase the instances and increase the distance between them like this and select OK. Now simply use the extrude cut command from here or you can also use the extrude cut from the features select the through all both and select ok so now you can see that our pattern has been made now we want to visualize it in the bending figure so for that we will again go to the folding command and you can see that the fixed face we have already selected has been automatically adjusted in this uh, property manager tab and now we will simply collect all bands and select OK. So now you can see how easily we have made this complex sheet metal part using fold and unfold and simple extrude cut feature. So this was all for the Solidworks sheet metal course. In the next video we are going to start the Solidworks weldment. So stay tuned and keep watching our channel for the more interesting videos.